Hey, what's going on everyone? Gillis TV here. Today we got some Edmonton Oilers updates here on contracts and of course Evander Kane. But before we get into that, if you're new to the channel like anything Oilers related or even NHL we try and do every team here, make sure to hit that subscribe button as I am only 167 away from our goal of 1,000 subscribers. That would be greatly appreciated if you can do that. And yeah, we do MLB as well, so if you're into the baseball things too, definitely hit that subscribe button. Now let's get into it. Like I said, some Edmonton Oilers news contracts. We know Proberg, Holloway, and of course the big name Leon Dreisaitl and Too Much Hockey Podcast did tweet out just the couple hours ago or so. I'm not too sure when this was tweeted. Uh, Leon Dreisaitl contract extensions talks are going great. There has been some talk that Liam's camp would ask for $14.5 million AAV, but he's willing to take less than that to stay in Edmonton. It will be an eight-year contract. That is what is agreed upon right now between the two sides, which we all knew Leon Dreisel won an eight-year contract uh, for less money. Then that way he gets more money in the end. Uh, it will be an eight-year contract, like I said. His deal should be about eight years, and this is what... Too much hockey podcast is reporting thirteen and a half or thirteen point three to thirteen and a half million dollars AAV, which is what a couple of us YouTubers and you know talk about is that was kind of the mark we thought Leon would go after. He said, "Hey, I'm willing to stay in Edmonton to take less if everyone else is." And he's probably had talks with Evan Bouchard, Connor McDavid, Stuart Skinner. Like, you guys take less money. I'll take less. Let's build this championship team. Go win a few cups in my next eight years here in Edmonton. And that is from their inside sources. Now, the other signings. Dylan Holloway and Philip Proberg are expected to sign two-year deals next week. Holloway AAV could be about 1.3, which is kind of where we put him at. I said 1.3 to 1.7 in that range. And Philip Proberg's looking at about 1.1. I was up there at 1.3 with Philip Proberg. So pretty close. Uh, this is from their sources. Of course, they are stating that these deals could be signed next week for both our RFAs. Of course, now we get into the Evander Kane news with Knowing what Leon Dreisaitl's contract doesn't really affect this year, but we are still over the salary cap. Evander Kane will be ready for training camp. He will take part in the captain's skates come early September. Going on LTIR is not the plan according to sources. Kane and his family have invested in staying in Edmonton over the next two years and beyond. There are rumors that the Ducks and Kings have interest in Evander Kane, but he's not looking to waive his no movement clause at this time. He wants to be an oiler to the end of his contract. So pretty big news coming out of Too Much Hockey Podcast. Of course, they got sources in there that I what they said about Leon Dreisel has been really what's been rumored is he's willing to take less. Yes, he could become the highest player this year. Of course, Connor McDavid the following year, but he's willing to take less to keep this championship team alive we were two goals away from winning the stanley cup last year we brought in more pieces we the edmonton oilers brought in more pieces and weapons for leon dry which he hasn't really had since new Yamamoto dry line and that line went on a tear when they called Yamamoto up there so him taking less he sees the potential in this team we all saw the zach hyman talk after the game seven loss how they're going to be back, they, you know, nothing's going to fix it, and Leon Dreisaitl wants to, of course, do that with them into Oilers, and getting the young guys like Proberg and Holloway back in for two-year contracts, that's great at that AAV, let them prove themselves, I know Holloway's had an up-and-down career with them into Oilers so far with injuries, he heats up and seems like he gets injured, Proberg, fantastic in the playoffs coming in for Vinny DeHarnay, and doing that. So now you might ask, what do the Oilers do if Evander Kane's not going to waive his no trade clause? I do believe I'm positive it's this March that his no trade clause actually vanishes. He is no longer on a modified no trade clause or uh, no complete no trade clause. So if that's the case, I believe I read it was this March. The Oilers could trade Evander Kane at the deadline if he's not producing. 
It's simple as that. But for right now, the likelihood would be either Brett Kulak or Cody Cece. Of course, Cody Cece being the rumored one. I will do a video on this eventually. Cody Cece, of course, being the one that would bring back more value, has a higher cap hit, could get us under that cap hit for sure. Now, you can also do a little tinkering, sending guys down to the minors. I know for a fact that more than likely Josh Brown will be one of those guys going to the minors, jumping up and down between the minors and NHL, depending on injuries. You could potentially see Derek Ryan be that guy this year, of course. It all depends on how training camp goes, who's actually doing really good, who produces, who actually is showing like their competitive edges there. And I know from a fact, we hear this about every team that loses in the Stanley Cup, they come back stronger than ever because they don't want to feel that feeling again. And I believe that actually lit even more fire on their this Edmonton Oilers team. And it's going to be a fun season to watch, so... That's pretty much it. Just some news about Dry Settle, Kane, Holloway, Proberg. Like I said, if you're new to the channel, let make sure to hit that subscribe button. And let me know in the comments what you think about these contracts. I think it's really reasonable. 3.3 would be a steal for Dry Settle if he keeps producing 100 plus points. Of course, eight years from now, what he would be 36, 35, somewhere in there. But that's it for me today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Gillis TV. Have a good one.